Hey Virgos, welcome to my channel. My name is Levi and this is your weekly tarot reading. It's a timeless reading, so anytime you watch this video, this is for the following seven days. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. And with that, let's get to it. Okay, so there we go. Seems like you're taking your, your uh, sweet time a little bit to chill. Well, it's been a while. You had to go through some hardships. You had to go through some pain. But finally, you reach the calmer shore, which is good to see. So now your sort of uh, relaxation, your, your time to, to be yourself and to chill, it's blessed. You don't have to force anything. You don't have to push yourself. You don't have to... Um, sort of, um, you have to like force things to happen around you and with you. Find and contain your energy. Find and contain your your emotions, and just um, just be in the position where you are ready to starting start something to happen with you in the future. But right now. It's a much calmer energy comes your way, a much more feminine energy. So you get you gaining back your strength. This is very important and this is very good to see. So as much as as um, as much as it's a slow process and it's a quieter time, and you might not feel fully in control with your with your life and with your situation but the good news is that slowly slowly gradually you are going to the right direction you might have to open up yourself to new opportunities you might have to open up yourself because uh, at the moment it seems like you are blindfolded and is dark um, as well as you have the sword protecting your heart so with that um, I think you reach the state now where you sort of run out those negative emotions so you don't need to worry about them but you are not at the stage of opening up to something new however it's time to do so because the hangman saying that your perception it's still it's still in the in the upside down place so open up yourself change your perception now it's time to look at the world now it's time to look outside externally and see like okay so what can give me joy what can give me happiness because i had enough of the lies i had enough of the the failures the disappointments you know the the lying cheating uh, whatever uh, all those negative stuff but um, i still i don't feel the strong the strength enough to go and start all over again well with the world now is saying that yes now it's time it's time. You're never going to feel fully, fully ready to take on new challenges. You are never going to feel fully, fully confident until you get out, you start experiencing and then you feel, oh, wow, OK, I didn't know I feel that good. I didn't know I feel that strength. It could be health issue as well. If you were you were ill and then, oh, now I'm afraid to do this or do that. But as soon as you start doing it, you're like, oh, wow, okay, this is, oh, I didn't know I gained my strength uh, back again up to this, this level. So you have the, you have the right, uh, right frame of mind in your subconscious. You have the right program, the right blueprint going towards legacy, going towards fulfillment, everything that you want in life. But that can only happen if you finally start going out. So you were doing the inner work, you were doing the grinding behind the scenes. But now you have to start taking it out to take it to the next level. So you're no longer enough just to contain yourself and wait and wait and wait because the news that you are waiting, it might never come. Or it will only come if you are in a position where it doesn't matter anymore. So you have to cut this period off, you have to start making some new choices. You have to start making some new decisions, which direction you want to take. You have three directions, you have to pick one. I'm not saying anyone, any, any of the directions are better than the other, and this is the trick. It doesn't matter which direction you take. 
because it's not about the new direction, it's about who you became up to now, who's that person making the decision. Because all three can lead you to the same uh, result. Maybe using a different path, but it can lead you to the same result. What can hold you back, however, is your scarcity mindset. Uh, mindset. It's your negative blueprint. It's the negative biases you have towards yourself. If you believing, oh, I can't go out there because it's scary out there. Oh, I can't go out there because uh, I don't uh, have, um, I don't know, whatever, the quality, the, the, the idea. I'm not clever enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not good enough to go out there again. I'll wait until I feel I will be better and I will be, uh, I will have the strength. But you can wait for it forever and that feeling, that that thought that, oh, I'm ready, might never came or might never come. So these scarcity mindset have, uh, have to be left behind. And now you have to look at the opportunities, look at the world, look at those who can achieve. Don't look at those who failed. Don't look at those who are disappointed. Don't look at those who are, uh, who are just giving out negative energy and influence. Look at the world in totality. Like, oh, there are, there are a lot of successful people. There are a lot of successful people in relationships, in careers, in finance, in sports, in whatever. Those are the images you want to, you want to fo focus on and plant it in your mind. Not those who lost their um, wealth, who lost their relationship, who lost their health. Yes, that is possible. But there is a risk involved in any, everything and in anything. And everybody has a relationship. Uh, anybody has um, responsibility for themselves in their life. And everybody's life is different. Everybody has karma. Everybody gets what they deserve. So looking at the neighbor and saying, oh God, the neighbor happened this and this and that, it doesn't mean it's going to happen with you. It happened with him or her because it meant to happen. and might never happen with you. So you have to start boiling things down into the very simple, very pure form where you can handle them. And now it's time to start taking those out to the direction where the house is. Bring it home. Now it's time. And the reward will be there for you. It's inevitable. You're going to have the reward, the huge, huge reward. If you finally get out, if you finally don't stop looking at the past, don't, uh, sorry, stop looking at the past. Stop focusing on spilled drink. Stop focusing on good memories. Stop focusing on what it used to be. Stop focusing on, on all those cups that has been spoiled. Turn around to the future. Look at what is still there for you or what you can have in the future. Make the commitment. Don't procrastinate. Don't wait. Nothing is going to happen. Learn. Find the stability. Don't let negative fears, negative thoughts, nightmares, sleepless nights bring you down and tell you you are not good enough. Find the balance. And good news will follow. And eventually, you're going to have the fulfillment. The final cards are so important. Ten of Cups, fulfillment, joy. And Ten of Pentacles, legacy, family, wealth, abundance. What else you want? What else is matter? I don't think so. Anything matters. So you can scrap all these and just focusing on these two. And you will be fine. But you have to do the work. You have to let things go that don't belong to you and your life anymore. And focus on these. Because these are what matters for now and for the future. Health, wealth, family, abundance, happiness, joy, 
fulfillment. Everything else, everything else is is temporary. Let me know in the comment box how does this resonate with you so far. And now let me give you a couple of cards for the Sacred Destiny Oracle. What to focus on specifically next week? So there we go. Purification. Did I just say you have to purify everything? Boil down to the very simple form. I did. And now this is your your confirmation. Next. You are at the gateway. But you have to make the commitment to take the direction. You can't wait here forever. You have to make the decision. This is the direction I'm taking. And nothing and nobody can hold me back. And finally, blessing. You have the blessing from the universe. Regardless of what happens with you or around you. Regardless. So trust yourself. And trust that the universe is Holding your back. And now let me give you a romantic oracle, passion, a magnetic and seductive quality. Seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy. Where is it? You have the passion to learn, to be more, to grow, to, to manifest, to get somewhere. And they feel it. Everybody around you can feel it. So have that passion and go for it. So there we go. I wish you a fantastic 2023. Please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Um, please check out the links below in the description box. You can get some nice little uh, jewelries from the Onyx Heaven. It's a, it's a small family shop, so every support is uh, appreciated. Thank you.